Today we're going to do some simple, inexpensive gifts for friends, family, neighbor, coworker, you name it. We're going to make it not complicated, but yet so thoughtful. We're going to start off with one that was, wow, a major hit over on Instagram, has about a half a million views. You're going to take a drink carrier. You can just get these at Walmart, Starbucks, just when you're getting ordering a drink to say, can I have a drink carrier, please? They don't care. And there you go. You have a drink carrier. Next, you're going to take... This is, I think is what, maybe a four ounce mason jar and you don't need the lid. And see how nicely this fits in there? All right, you're gonna start off, you're gonna go ahead and fill your little mason jar here with water. You're going to apply the little packet that comes with the flowers that you're just gonna run and grab from the grocery store. Next, before you add your flowers, you're going to make a grid with the tape. This is gonna help the flowers to stand up nicely. Okay, super simple. Take your flowers that you chose and trim them down to fit in. And some of them might not all fit in this little mason jar and that's okay because then you can maybe get two gifts out of one bouquet. If you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. Okay, oh, that's so pretty. So I'm obviously doing a fall theme for this little gift, but you can make this be any color gift like theme that you want to. You're gonna place your little flowers in your little tray like so. You're gonna get your person their favorite drink. Let's pretend if we're doing a whole fall theme, maybe this is a pumpkin spice drink, like that's their favorite. You're gonna grab them one of their favorite treats. I thought to go with our little fall little gift basket here, we're gonna do a maple glazed donut. And then to fill this spot, this is gonna be dependent on what, you know, like how you wanna go. Do you wanna get them a gift card? Or do you wanna keep it super inexpensive? I found this adorable magnet at Hobby Lobby that says, let faith be bigger than your fear. That is a cute, just little add-in thing that you can put in there. And there you go. How adorable is this? You can just come walking in, you can give this to a coworker, bring it to someone in the hospital. I mean, you can walk it over to your neighbor and hope they have a great morning, anything. This is just a really fun idea. I'm really loving the fall theme one. If you haven't been following me over on Instagram, be sure to do so. Lots of fun ideas are always put over there and on Facebook also. All right, next up, let's do a really thoughtful gift for a man. I feel like a lot of times we think of things really easy for a woman, but we don't for a man and maybe you just want to give them a little something. All right, just hear me out and stick with me here. I went to Walmart and they have very nice slippers there. I was seriously surprised. They are genuine leather and so soft and cozy. They have the hard bottom. So if your man's anything like mine, he's going to walk outside in them. So you want him to be able to do that and not mess them up. So grab your man or whoever you're going to give these to, your grandpa, an uncle, your father, anybody. I would even give these to my neighbor because this is a really cute idea. All right, so you're gonna get your slippers at Walmart. I don't know if you've seen this brand, but I stopped and I paused because, whoa, it smells amazing. And so I got the fresh fall smell and it's a manly soap and a manly lotion. So you're just gonna take this and you're gonna place the lotion in here like this. And you're gonna place the soap in here like this. Then you're gonna get whoever that you're giving the gift for maybe some of their favorite little treats. Well, I'm pretending I'm giving this one to Jason, which I actually am, and I got some beef jerky. So I'm gonna place that back behind the soap. And then my boy loves some Snickers. So we're gonna place that, kinda just like coming out of the back of that. Seriously, how adorable is that? Now I'm gonna tie a ribbon so it looks like a gift. Let me show you how I'm gonna do that. I think red is a good color for a dude and a woman also but also because this could be a great ribbon to get if you wanted to do this for the holidays also. And then we're just gonna tie a bow. Look at that. Now you have the most adorable gift to give to any man in your life that is so simple and inexpensive. Can you go see Jason? He's back there taking a nap behind me. All right, so that was such a cute idea. Let's do it for a female friend, coworker, neighbor, daughter, sister. Take out, if the slippers have the little inserts in them, take those out because they're just taking up space and we need those out of the way so we can have room 
to put our items down in here. Now here's where you can just get really fun and creative and you can do this for man, woman, or anything. If we wanted to do something kind of along the lines that we just did with the man one, we could do some, like a fun little face mask and then we could do hair ties, bobby pins, things that they use often. On top of that, we could do maybe like their favorite little lip balm, put that in there, and then a fun little candy. I These are called caramel cold brew M&Ms. How awesome is that? And we can just place those back behind. There, now you have the same thing. We can tie the little ribbon around. You could put a gift card in here if you felt like you wanted to spend more money, but you do this right here. These slippers were $13 and then the few little items. I mean, this is a gift for under 20 bucks. Let's switch it around a little bit and say you have someone who's been ill or they've been in the hospital or they've been super sick and you want to do something for them. Make them a little care package for being sick. Like I have here, you know, some little Lysol to go, some little Tylenol, little Advil, Clorox wipes, some Kleenex, some things for their sore throat, different items like that. How fun is that? You can just make them up a little care package as if they're sick. We'll just place these down in there. And then, um, I don't feel like we need both. Let's just give them the Advil. And then what else we got? I mean, really, you could get super creative. I have little medicated bliss decks that we could put in here. And there you go. A little care package for someone who's sick and you want to make them feel better. This next one is so super adorable for say you get new neighbors into your neighborhood or one of your friends or family, they get a new home. This is a perfect little housewarming gift. And I know you might think, well, Leslie, that one's been done a lot of times, but I don't think people really realize that the items that are on here are really significant. We use them a lot. And so a cutting board is something that can be used over and over, whether you actually use it or if you're like me and you have them sitting around using it for decorating. And then on top of that, a tea towel. How many of these dish towels do we all have? I have a drawer full and I use them constantly. I don't think you can ever have enough. And then a wooden spoon is so fantastic. I show over on Instagram how you can use a wooden spoon to help your pots from like flowing over. If you just set a wooden spoon across the top when it's boiling, if it starts to come up high, the wooden spoon will help it from not spilling over. Now there's been a little controversy over there where some people say it works and some people says it doesn't work. And we've been trying to decide, is it because it's a gas stove or an electric stove? And I have some people who have an electric stove who are like, it doesn't work on an electric stove. And then I have other people who say it does. And so I'm just like, what? It has always worked for me. It is a great trick. So I think giving a wooden spoon, not only for just cooking and stirring things, it lets the people know about that fun little tip and they can try it for themselves and maybe it'll work for them because it does always work for me. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you tried that trick and does it work in your home? Everyone is always asking me where I got this little magnet, this little bless this home. I found this at Hobby Lobby and it was in a weird spot. I knew they had them because I, I was telling you earlier, they always have cute magnets and it's usually near the front, near the checkouts. You know, they kind of have those little sections of just random things and that is where I find them. And then I just tied it together with a little string. Keep it on your list if you are ever looking for a super quick gift idea. You can pick all these up very inexpensively and I think whoever you give it to will really love it. All right, it's next day. We had to pause filming the other day, but we're gonna finish up. So I wanted to bring you a few more really fun, awesome, very considerate and thoughtful gifts that you can do that are inexpensive. Almost forgot this. <laughs> I popped two bags of microwave popcorn. I just did the Orville Redenbacher. Of course, I probably did movie theater butter because that's what I love. And then you're gonna need one pound of white almond bark and three tablespoons of peanut butter. So we're gonna melt these down in the microwave and then we're gonna mix this together and make a really yummy little just fall snack mix that can be given as a gift. You can make this into more of like a Christmas or just a, a birthday theme. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that. Just to make it easier, I'm gonna dump my popcorn out into something bigger so that when I'm stirring it around, it's like really easy to get it nice and mixed up. Okay, and to our popcorn, we're gonna add one cup 
of the roasted salted peanuts, which, oh my goodness, is just exactly what I had left. Put that around in here. Mix that around. All right, so we have this nice and smooth. This is one pound of the almond bark and three tablespoons of peanut butter. We're just gonna dump this over. And then once we get it all coated, we're gonna add in some fun, since we're doing ours for fall, we're gonna add in the plain M&Ms that are like Halloween colored with a little bit of Halloween sprinkles. So for like your birthday one, you could do like Funfetti and just regular colored M&Ms for Christmas, do the Christmas ones with Christmas sprinkles. You could just change this out for anything that you wanted to do. And then I have some fun little sprinkles. And then I'm just gonna lay this out on parchment paper to dry out and it'll be ready in a little while. And we'll break it apart and oh boy, it's delicious. All right, let me slide this popcorn that we got drying over here out of the way. I keep eating it. It's not even ready and I keep eating it. I love popcorn. This next gift are so simple. We're cheating hardcore, but it's the thought that counts and it'll really simplify your life. Okay, I know you guys have all seen this and everything like that, but this makes it really simple. We're gonna do cookie mix gifts. I'm gonna show you two different ways. I just have to say that the Krusties, anything, anything. I love their pancakes, their waffles, their cookies, their cinnamon streusel cake, like all the things, I love them. So we're gonna do something with this one in a minute, but let me show you the really simple one first. Well, that one's really simple too, but. So I um, have my mason jar here, and I got a oatmeal chocolate chip. I thought it was kind of fun to do maybe a little bit of a different type of cookie that a lot of people don't make all the time instead of chocolate chip or that kind of thing. So I'm like, oh, oatmeal chocolate chip, that's a good one. Hang on to the bag, we need the directions. I put it into one of my really large mason jars. I tried a smaller one, it didn't hold it, so this one held it. But What's bugging me about it? It's bugging me that there's like extra space here around the top. Had to go get my glasses. So we're just gonna make this look super cute. I have the two and a half inch burlap ribbon, which is perfect to take around this jar and cover up that space. So just measure around to where it's even because we're gonna hot glue that on there. I zoomed in for you. So here it is like this. And then now I'm pretending this is one's for Christmas, but we could do this for anything. Remember, you can just change it for whatever season. So now I'm gonna do around the middle, like a cute little thing with this adorable little spoon coming off of it. And I will leave a link for all this down below. Like they sell these on Amazon and maybe I'll put like a little bit of greenery in there also. Okay, so the directions say that you need one stick of butter and one egg, and then it tells you how to cook it. So we're gonna make a little recipe card to add to this so they know how to cook this, but this will last them however long. And then the good thing about not gluing it to the actual jar, I just glued it around, is it makes it really easy for them because look, then this, ta-da, just comes right off. And they could reuse this if they wanted to, but this is just a really great idea. So I'm gonna make a recipe card. I'll print that off, we'll come back to this. But while we're in here talking about cookie gifts and stuff like that, so keep in mind, like we said, this could be done for holidays, birthdays, new neighbors, just to be kind, somebody doesn't feel well, super simple. And if you can't ever find this, they sell this on Amazon. But the difference is it comes with its own little cinnamon sugar packet. So it has, you know, the cookie mix and the cinnamon sugar packet. So it's not like you can just dump this into a jar together because you need to keep them separate in order to roll the snickerdoodle in the cinnamon and sugar well. I came up with a really cute way to package this. And, Cause you're never gonna give somebody, here's, here's a gift, you know what I mean? But I wanna keep them in these packages, but I want the gift to look special. So let me show you what we're gonna do. On Amazon, they have the really cute burlap wine bags. So simple. So now you can keep your gift stuff in this and push this down in here. And then see how it starts to fill that bag out nicely. And then you're gonna take the cinnamon sugar, put that on top, 
And then you could do this a couple different ways. So you could do it how it comes and you can just tie it down like this. And then they actually come with nice little tags. You can do the embellishments just like we did on this, but over here, add in the little spoons, that type of thing. Or I thought it might be cute also, if you fold it down, kind of make it look like country store. I don't know why it makes me think of a country store bag. And then we tie it around like that. And then of course you still have to make a recipe card. So let's do that and I'll get this one. Let me know in the comments down below which way you guys prefer. Do you like it up with the drawstring? Well, I guess I need to show you it done. Hold on. All right, I went on Canva and I'm making up a recipe card to show how to make the cookies. And then I put like love the wisers on it. And then that way it's kind of like the gift tag and the recipe card so they know how to make it. See how I made the card say like love the wisers. I'm gonna save this tag for like whoever I give it to. And then that way it'll be really cute. I love the little heart cutout. How cute is that? So once I have the recipient, like say it's my neighbors or whatever, I'll put their name there. All right, there's two really great, super inexpensive, non-complicated gift ideas. Now let's get our popcorn packaged up also. I think you might be figuring out by now that one of the key things to making gifts seem really thoughtful and just special is the way they get presented, like what they come in. And it really doesn't matter how spectacular the gift is, it's just the thoughtfulness of it. Well, over on Amazon, they have the sweetest little gift bags that have these little handmade stickers with it that say handmade with love. And it's got the little window through here. These are so perfect for like cookies or anything. We're gonna put our popcorn in here. That'll show through the window and then we'll seal it off with the little handmade with love. So easy. One major tip of advice if you make this popcorn, whew, make sure you absolutely make sure that all the kernels are out. I thought I had them all out. I just found several more. One I crunched into and about broke my tooth. You don't wanna get a big gift where someone breaks their tooth. <laughs> so make sure those kernels are out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.